This is a textbook example of poor quality seed that's developed poorly under optimum conditions in our germination test. And what we can see immediately when we turn the blotter up like this is that it's very, very sparse. And there's a number of spaces on this blotter that are empty, which indicates that there's a lot of dead and abnormal seed. Normal seedlings take up a lot of space, and you can see that by the mass here with all the root development. But when we get a spot like this, um, this indicates that the seed has died and hasn't taken up any real estate. Now, here I've taken off some of the abnormals. Now, I know from counting this previously that the germination on this is 65%. And there's a couple of things that are actually going on with this. First of all, we've got three stages of abnormal seedlings. And I'm going to pull this into focus a little more and allow you to see it more clearly. The three stages of germination here and development indicate that the germination on this is dropping very rapidly. And the reason for this is that we can't tell necessarily by the abnormalities what's going on. The true picture comes when we look at the dead seed. Now, the dead seed is quite moldy and very soft, which indicates that we have a problem with moisture. And this seed has had high moisture from the very beginning when it was harvested. And that moisture has allowed the seed to decay rapidly. It's very, very important to have correct moisture at the time of storage, otherwise the storageability of the seed is compromised very quickly. And there's more dead seed actually than there is abnormal. So we know that this particular sample is starting to drop off because of moisture issues. Now, it would have to be over 9% of moisture for this particular problem to start occurring. And it shows you with the different stages that it's starting to decay rapidly. And probably within the next couple of months, the germination will be a lot worse. And we could be looking at um, what we have currently at 65, dropping down to about 40%. So this shows you that even under optimum conditions, if there's an issue with the seed, particularly if it's very, very poor, we can pick up some of the detriments with with the seed and start to get some good ideas on, especially with some of the symptoms such as the dead seed and the abnormals, what's actually causing um, this problem.